Tell me what that feels like. What does it feel like to know that you have a legacy with your name on it that is so meaningful to not just you, but to your mother and to other women in your community um, and other people in the city that you have grown to love? I feel very proud that I am in a position to do something like this. Um, I know what it felt like when I was suffering. Um, I saw my mother suffer. And uh, quite often you feel really hopeless. And back in the day, I'm sure when my mother was going through this, there, there weren't any organizations that could help her. And even when I was going through it in um, late 70s, early 80s, I didn't know of any organizations that I could have gone to, you know, for help, for assistance. Uh, so you tend to feel very vulnerable, alone, because you don't necessarily want to tell even your family, or your friends, what you're going through. It's embarrassing, quite honestly. So I am very proud that I am able to, um, to be a part of that. And uh, <laughs> the, the mayor because of the donation I made, he, he said, okay, I'm gonna um, let you put the name on it. Now, I was really very reluctant to put my name on it. And I was talking to one of my girlfriends and she said, girl, you better put your name on it. You wanna leave a legacy. You, you always tell me you wanna leave a legacy. <laughs> so anyway, that's how my name got on the building. But would... yeah, I am, I am very proud of it. And we're very honored to have it. Um, I did get to, to speak with um, the executive director and the program coordinator, and we're gonna have an extended conversation about the work of the organization that you've endowed. And it is really powerful to know that 20, 30, 40 years, you couldn't find a center like that. You could, you could barely find organizations who were doing any part of those components that were easy to access. So what you've been able to endow and what they've been able to do on the day-to-day is pretty phenomenal, right. especially during coronavirus when those numbers have increased. So thank you again for that. Um, I'm, I'm curious as to what you would say to women and men, but um, people who are currently experiencing domestic violence, what would you say to them? I would say get out <laughs> because they don't change. They do not change. The average adult that has those type of tendencies, they're gonna to continue to have them. You know, I, I, I hate to be pessimistic about it, but that's what I've seen. They just don't change, you know. Um, so that's, that's what I would tell them, get out and seek some help. There's um, a brighter future for you, and most of them have children. Most of the, the, the ladies who come into our center are bringing two, three, four kids with them. And um, they're not gonna change. You know, the abuser, they're gonna be abusers. So you need to get out and create a better environment for yourself and for your kids because and I'm sure you know this, quite often children who witness abuse quite often grow up to be abusers. 